Oh, look at that gorgeous view from Sandusky out at Cedar Point. The wheel is spinning. Temperatures reaching the 87 degree mark late this afternoon. Of course, you have to be careful out there when the temperatures are pretty extreme. And Betsy's coming up in just a couple of minutes with more on today's heat. But first, I don't know if you recognize this, but the hot weather, it can cause some of us to maybe lose our appetite yeah. when the temperature is this hot. It happens. You may experience an upset summer on hot stomach rather on hotter days as well. And doctors say the heat can actually have an impact on what they call your gut health. Yeah, senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is here to explain how these two things are connected. Ever notice how you tend to lose your appetite on really hot days? High temps can actually knock your gut microbiome out of balance. The temperature is an important factor in controlling the growth of microorganisms. According to a Swiss study, the heat can change the bacterial composition of the GI tract and may explain stomach pain, gas, bloating, and other issues in hot weather. Too much bad bacteria can wreck your immune system, too. These bad microorganisms, they form what we call digestive plaque or biofilms is similar to the plaque in our teeth. They are going to block the absorption of uh, vitamins, uh, proteins, nutrients. Three things to reverse the trouble? Diet, lifestyle, reduction of stress. Boost your good bacteria with a probiotic supplement or from foods such as yogurt and kefir and fermented foods such as sauerkraut, tempeh, kimchi, miso, kombucha, even snacking on pickles can help. Just look for live or active cultures on the labels. By improving our immunity, guess what? We will have less inflammation and that's why we have less digestive or GI symptoms. Prebiotic foods feed the good bacteria, especially leafy greens. So eat more vegetables for fiber and avoid one of the worst bad gut contributors. Too much sugar encourages the growth of bad bacteria, but also bad, bad fungus. Yes, he said fungus. Sugar creates yeast, which feeds the bad bacteria. Also, your body can't break sugar down, so it ferments in your bowels and cause a lot, causes a lot of discomfort. You know you've had too much bad bacteria if you have chronic GI issues, but also skin breakouts, moodiness, fatigue, insomnia, trouble concentrating. Getting in exercise and reducing your stress will also help get you back in balance after you clean up that diet, Christy. Ooh, all right, Monica Robbins. That was, that was a lot to take in. Thank you very much, ma'am. Sure.